Hello everyone, welcome to Engineering Study Materials. In this video, we will discuss about the cutting fluids. Before going into this video, please like, share and subscribe this channel. Thank you for watching. Cutting Fluid During metal cutting, heat is generated as a result of work done. Heat is carried away from the tool and workpiece by means of cutting fluids. Cutting fluids also reduce friction between tool and chip and between tool and work. If insufficient quantity of cutting fluid is properly applied, heat can be removed almost as fast as it is generated. Therefore, cutting fluid is one of the important needs to improve production efficiency. Before HSS, cutting fluid is not used, but after the discovery of high-speed steel, it is if it is needed because the workpiece is machined at the high speed, so friction occurs and thus heat generated. To reduce the heat, cutting fluids are used. As a result, it is established that the use of right cutting fluid during machining positively improves the machining operations. <coughs> Functions of cutting fluid The first and foremost function of a cutting fluid is to cool the tool and the workpiece, to provide lubrication and to wash away the chips may be generated as its secondary function. Improves tool life, it permits the use of higher cutting speeds and larger metal removal rates, it lubricates the chip tool interface reduces the kinetic coefficient of friction and keeps down the cutting forces, improves the surface finish by protecting newly generated surface from the oxidation and corrosion and reduce the formation of built up edges. Properties Good wetting characteristics for the materials to be machined should not gum the moving parts of the machine tools should have good anti-wear properties, should not get foam easily, it should be stable and should not deteriorate in use and storage, should be orderless, should possess high specific heat and high thermal conductivity and high heat of vaporization so that it removes the heat rapidly and thus have good cooling property, should be non-corrosive, non-toxic, transparent and have low viscosity. Types of cutting fluids Neat oil, soluble oil, water based fluid, synthetic coolant and gases fluid. Neat oil Types of neat oil are straight mineral oil, compounded oil, extreme pressure oil, active EP oil and inactive ex extreme pressure oil. Straight mineral oil is a mineral oil, vegetable oil or blends of these oils. Mineral oil without additives is not suitable for high load and speed and hence it is only in light machining of aluminium. Mineral oil blended with fatty acids like lard oil and oleic acid are called as compound oils. They are suitable for machining of tough non-ferrous alloys. They are not very popular because of their low film strength. EP additives are added either in the active or inactive form with the proper control of concentration. Inactive EP oil The EP additives are tightly bonded with the hydrocarbide structure of the oil and hence they are not released so easily for the reaction. In case of active EP oil, the additives are available in free form so that they are released to react chemically with the workpiece. Active EP oils are suited for most severe operations on the toughest steel, they are not suitable for machining copper and its alloys as they stain the material. Soluble oil or water emulsion, three types are there, milky, translucent and heavy cutting oil. Soluble oil is a blend of mineral oil, emulsifying agents and coupling agents, additives like rust inhibitors, antiform agents, water softening agents and bactericides are also commonly added to soluble oils. Emulsion is formed by mixing soluble oil with water in the ratio up to 1 is to 40 for general machining and up to 1 is to 80 for grinding. Convention emulsions are milky in appearance. Translucent emulsions are made by reducing the droplet 
size of the oil of the emulsion with a higher ratio of emulsifier to oil translucent emulsions have higher film strength and better anti corrosion properties for severe cutting operations soluble oil are blended with fatty oil and ep additives and they are known as heavy duty soluble oils they are rich in concentration with ratios from 1:5 to 1:15 to water based fluids where the true solution is nothing but a water with mixer with corrosion inhibitors synthetic colorants many chemical agents blended with water form synthetic colorants basically they are colorants through basically they are colorants though some are also lubricants they are generally non petroleum products so sometimes a small percentage of mineral oil is added their concentrations 1 is to 50 to 1 is to 250 parts of water main problem associated with this synthetic colorants is uh, they are compatible with the other lubricants and metal parts because they are chemically very active they react easily with paints and other metal parts etc gaseous fluids they are not only used because of their high cost mist is mostly used to gas is fluid modern mist coolant system uses compressed air to atomize the coolant and carry it to the point of cutting in the form of mist gases like co2 freon and helium are used selection of cutting tools this is the flow charts for selection of cutting tools work piece material tool material machining process and other factors selection of cutting tools machining process cutting tool materials and work work piece materials these are major factors that are also there they are compatibility with machine performance requirements human interaction and economical requirements filtration of cutting fluids the chip and the foreign matter mixed in the cutting fluid have to be separated for, from the cutting fluid otherwise the life of the cutting tool and the surface quality of the work piece will suffer adversely one of the easy ways of filtering is mean by settling tank the degree of filtration is achieved by this method is very poor another drawback in this method is the need for frequent cleaning of the tank so thank you for watching if you like this video put a thumbs up and subscribe our channel thank you for watching